Welcome back everyone to the Given Forum 2022. My name is Samantha Kelly and I'm so excited to be joined by a fellow athlete today. We were just talking and, and sister loves to run. I do. I do. I do. <laughs> and I, I think that just speaks to the beauty of the, the Given community. It's a really beautiful mixture of lay and religious who have similar passions and gifts and really seek to inspire each other so true in those realms so i'm so excited to be joined by sister sister would you just introduce yourself um, tell us a little bit about your community and then how you ended up here at given my name is sister clara mahilia roach i'm an apostle of the sacred heart of jesus and this is my second year at given and i serve in the capacity as a mentor every gift every vocation, every person has this unique gift that they're bringing to flourishing. And so you see that happening at Given because all of us are working together, we're learning from each other and just that support that we have the presence of religious communities here, but then that we all are members of the body of the church. Amen. And it's so encouraging to, to have mentors like you, um, and I know this was true for me, just encouraging these young women along the way, encouraging them to be bold, to be courageous, but also to, to continue to just be receptive to the Lord in whatever way He wants to bless them. Exactly, because sometimes that can be a difficulty for us, especially as women, that we feel that we have this gift that we want to present, but the obstacle sometimes of being vulnerable or showing that, okay, I might need some support, or is it something that the world really needs or wants? And to be able to sort of free ourselves from that by realizing that others have gone through it and they're accompanying us on that process and so the mentor comes in to be able to you know be a sounding board but also as a spiritual mother to nurture and to guide in that process as well wow. so you're with these young women they're in their 20s mm -hmm. what um, advice are you giving them or, or what advice you know looking back on your life would you give your 25 year old self so if we have a young woman that's listening what would you want to share with her I would say the first thing I would probably tell to my 20 something self and to these women is be bold and in our 20s we tend to be in that time where we're, we're still we're getting out of that phase we've or we've grown out of the you know adolescent phase but we still are very attentive to what other people say and what other people think and sometimes that itself can create that fear and pull us away from giving the gift of who we are. So being brave and really recognizing that your gift is to be shared, right? I can have a beautiful gift and I never share it, you know, so what's the point of, of having that gift? And so taking that step out in faith. And so sometimes, you know, my motto is feel the fear and do it anyway, mm. right? Because you can decide, you can think, you can debate, but do it yeah. and be bold. Yeah, right? It's about that, that decision and that choice. To, to do what, what God is calling you to. Exactly. And knowing that if he's calling you, he's gonna be there and he's gonna help you get through it. Well, one more question for you, sister. It's a fill in the blank. Okay. So here we go. So it's blank, this is my gift. How would you answer that? I would say connection is my gift. Well, I see myself as the promoter. I will, you know, introduce myself to people very easily and, you know, have you met this person and tried to connect? So connection is my gift. That's beautiful. Well, thank you, sister, for, thank you for, for just sharing me. your time and your heart with us. And um, we'll be praying for you. Oh, thank you. I'll be praying for you Thanks. too. God bless.